Hey there, how's it going? Well, I'm not looking my best right now, and that's okay. I even still have the uh, mask beard going on, but uh, I'm probably going to take it easy on political videos until after the election. I'm not going to say I, I'm going to stop making political videos altogether until then, because I, I probably won't be able to help myself, but they'll probably be reduced in contrast to normal. You know, uh, I mean, as you can see, I've uploaded several walking videos in a row, and that normally didn't happen. But things are so polarized right now. Any bit of saying something that on one side makes everyone think, oh, you're all on that side, or if you say something on the other side, oh, everything, you, you, you must uh, agree with that other side. And it's just like, well, there's, there's middle ground here. But right now, you can't, you can't even show that you, you have, there's, there's some middle ground. You can't say, hey, there's some middle ground here. You can't even make that statement without some people throwing a fit. I see on Facebook, uh, especially from my LGBT friends, making, making grandiose ultimatums. They'll give this long list of things that they, uh, that they believe, and they blatantly say, and if you disagree with any one of these things, you're unfriended and blocked. And it's just like, you got to be kidding me. And they've proven that they, they're going to do it. You know, well, if, if you defend the police in any way, because all cops are bastards, if you defend the police in any way, you're unfriended and blocked. It's just like, wow. Same with, oh, if you, if you criticize BLM in any way, you're unfriended and blocked. Well, okay. And just, I'm just seeing this shit spreading farther and farther, and it's just, it, it terrifies me. And at the same time, I see people who have been on the right basically saying that anyone who even slightly is to the left, oh, you're a communist. Communist. Communist, everyone. Communism everywhere. So, and, and, you know, the whole thing is nuts right now, and I just kind of want to be a little more laid back and uh, just sort of watch things happen and we'll see what happens after the election, right? So that's kind of my take right now. You know, I still stand by my video about uh, mainstream media. They're not doing what their job is supposed to be. They're caring more about ratings and view viewership than they are about actually doing something good for the world, you know? And it's frustrating, you know? They, it, it, if people knew the truth about what the rioters and violent people are demanding, they probably wouldn't have as much of a problem with something being done about the violence. And then at the same time, if some of the more reasonable people were shown by media for some of the more reasonable things that they're demanding and wanting, then maybe something could get done towards those ends. But the way it is right now, media isn't doing their job. We're stuck with this, the tribalism. It's just a pathetic state right now. And I just don't want to get too heavily involved. Because someone is going to assume that I'm on this side or I'm on that side. You know, shit, there was someone in the comments on my just my video talking about mainstream media. They, they, they were basically saying, you're a, you're a MAGA person. Fuck you. You're a... And they, they just gave a bunch of insults. I'm like, um, I'm not a MAGA person. I'm voting for Biden. But it doesn't matter. I said something bad about mainstream media, and therefore I'm... Yeah, it's, it's stupid. You know, and I know some of the division and polarization with some people is going to get a lot worse after the election. But 
there are some people who are going to be relieved that the whole fucking thing is over. That this election is over and we, we at least have an idea of what we're in for. Right now, everything's just up in the air. You know? It's an emergency. We have an election coming up, and it's and you know, once the once we actually get the results of the the election, it'll be like the ice breaking. You know, I don't know, but uh, things are really crazy right now, and uh, I just want to kind of lay low for a little bit. So.